Hello, and welcome back to this podcast. I know it's been a while. It has been a while. And I've actually recorded some episodes that I haven't posted. Like solo episodes that I haven't posted. Because I, I don't know. I feel like I should like do it all at once or something. So, But it's really good to be back. And I think this is the first one I'm going to post solo-wise or just in general. But um, anyways, yeah. Um, I've missed you. And I'm so sorry it took me so long to come back. I have no excuse. I really don't. Um, other than just like I suck and like I have psychological problems, I think, as do we all. But I really need to fix mine. Should I get into it this fast? I feel like I should like update you guys more or something. I got more I got more art on my walls. Um I've been good. I've had an interesting summer. I don't know. I feel like that was just really abrupt or something. Can't complain. I really can't. Other than my life. But um Okay, let's get into it. My sister told me that, um, like, the other day she was, like, talking about writing. And she was like, you should write and write stuff down. Just, like, why don't you take, like, a writing class, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, like, I don't know. I think me and a lot of other people struggle with, like, self-belief and whatever. And I'm over. I'm over that version of myself that struggles with that. Like, I'm over it. Like, I genuinely am. Even though I'm not, like, fully there, I'm just, like, so done with, like letting that person rule my life even though she does sometimes but um yeah I was like okay yeah let me she 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 was like I have some ideas and like I want to write this and this and then she was talking about her ideas and I was like made me realize like I have a bunch of ideas like in my head but I just like never thought like to put them anywhere I'm sure I'm not alone in that I think that most people that are like creative in some sense um just naturally like accumulate stories and like interesting things in their head of like oh this would be a really cool story for a novel or like a movie and like you just like make little situations in your head or like I don't know you just like get ideas like people just in life whatever so I started writing mine like this like really short concept I I have for like a book and then it made me start it like it made me be like I should do a podcast on this um just like at least like it's just gonna be like my internal thoughts on it it's not gonna be like anything crazy it's just like something like that I find interesting and I don't know why I'm explaining myself I guess if you watch this podcast you like kind of like are fine with what I have to say so I feel like I should just like say it anyways you can tell by the the title that this is about bias and um people's deeper than that is like people's individual experiences and life I find so interesting and just like how different everybody is from each other. Like how they look at other people, how they look at themselves, how they look at the world, what interests them, what pulls them, what things do they pay attention to that you don't? What things do they question that you don't? How much do they love themselves? How much do they hate themselves? How much ambition do they have? It's just like, there's such a wide stretch scope of the kinds of people that there are in the world. And like what I'm saying isn't gonna be some like new thing it's more just like something that I am interested in that I'm zooming in on that like I wanted to talk about um but and I mean this for good and bad I mean like there are bad people in the world sometimes I need to tell that to people because they don't know that and some people watching this and listening to this they go yeah I know and that also again goes again like with not judging people so harshly and trying to understand their perception and their experience of the world. Both are two very important things for security and, and self-preservation in life and survival um, and to enrich your life in any way. So that's kind of why I want to talk about it. Have you ever like been out in a group of people? I'm sure you have. And someone says something and points something out that, like, you would have never pointed out before. And then you listen to them and you're just like, what the fuck world are you living in? I don't know. At least I do this. Where I'm just like, what are they noticing? Like, how? D I didn't notice that. Like, they have a completely different perception of life. And, yes, that's obvious. Someone who is nine years old going to a park with a man who went to war and is cynical and divorced, who's 65 years old, they're going to go to par the park. And they're going to experience the exact same thing. But they're not. Physically, in the tangible world that they are. But the child's going to notice something completely different and feel completely different. And her heart's going to be less heavy, maybe. And 
this man is going to experience it completely different, have completely different thoughts and appreciate it in a different way. And that is what I find so interesting about people. We don't really like stop to think about it. From the physical world, those two people are experiencing the same thing. They're experiencing the park. And that's all we see. We're out with our friends and we're all experiencing the same room. We're all experiencing the same music. We're all there physically together. But internally, we're all, and it's obvious. Like I know this is, like we all know this, but like, I don't know, like just to really think about what that means, you know, I just find whatever. But, um, and so I started to get really curious into that. And then with that kind of like rabbit hole into this, like I started to realize just like how biased we are. I feel like we forget to stop and think about like when we're with a group of people, like what everyone's experiencing, you know, like who has a heavy heart, who's like suicidal not to get all dark, but honestly, like who's like mentally not even there at all, but prevent presents really well, presents very present, you know? And who's engaged and happy and curious and filled with wonder and awe. I think it would help us all like as a society or whatever the right word is, a community of people, if we, took a deeper interest into everyone's experience and what bubble that they live in. I get jealous sometimes and I th- find it interesting. Maybe it's my maybe it's my addiction to escapism or what I've considered it, but like it makes me mad that like I will only ever experience my world. I can only ever see the world through my lens and my perceptive like my perception. And my experience, like even looking around in my room, like it's only ever going to look the way it does through my eyes. I I don't get to see what it looks like through your eyes or my best friend's eyes. Or I don't know why like older men like fascinate me because they're just kind of like the adverse to me. Like they're just so the opposite of me that it's just like, that's what I want to know. I want to know how you experience it. Like, it's just interesting to me. I think it's cool. Like an 80 year old guy, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just like as far away as me as possible. I've started to kind of tune into it more and kind of started to pay attention more to people. Um, I think I, I think I already have like um, an interest in people. I've noticed, and um, you don't get to control what you like. That's for damn sure. But I started to see a lot of value in it, and like that's why I kind of want to share it. It's cool kind of bursting the bubble to yourself that like yes we're all different but like more than that like we're all in these little worlds that's kind of what it feels like to me it feels like a world that you live in like through the actual lens of your eyes what you see it's different from everyone I was so dissociated one day this summer this is kind of like what also part of like where my head's been going with this. And I think it's kind of been like, this thing has been like kind of stirring in me for a minute, but um, I was so dissociated. People, I don't know if there's a lot of people with dissociation that fall, like watch this, who knows? I don't know why I feel the need to like explain everything, but um, I was in Uber and I, it was like, honestly, this was the, one of the worst cases of dissociation I've ever had lifetime. I was so dissociated. I felt like I was on LSD. I felt like I was in a video game. I was sober. I felt like nothing was real, nothing mattered. I felt like as if I was in a dream, like a real dream. Like I wasn't real, no one was real. And I couldn't control or burst myself out of that. That was just the reality I had to sit in, in that Uber. And kind of for the rest of the day, but specifically in that. And I just remember thinking like, this Uber driver like has no idea that any anything I'm feeling right now is anything out of like the ordinary. And it just, it was for me at least. Um, And like, you just like never know. Like, and I don't know what his experience is. Like, it's it's more like, I'm not talking about like his life and his home and like his work and his job and like things that tie his identity to him. Like, I'm not talking about like, when someone asks you who you are, 
you go, oh, I'm Charlotte, I'm a podcaster and I model and I like went to this high school or I went to this college and you can kind of give them like a list of things that like make your identity. Like I'm interested in that, sure, but I'm not interested in really, I'm interested in like the actual view of the world that they have and like what they feel, you know, and like their thought process. How much of their thoughts do they think about themselves? How much empathy do they have for others? I would love to see the world through someone else's eyes. Just out of curiosity, I would love that. That'd be so cool. Anyone, I would take anyone, literally. Sure, I have like a somewhat hierarchy in my head of like who would I, who would, whose brain I would find more interesting. But even the people that are quote unquote boring or something, like I'm still down. Like that would just be cool to see like what lights are off, you know, like what things like, what do you think about? Like people that have like nothing to say or like, I don't know how you define boring. Like just like, I don't, how do you even define boring? I'm kind of, I don't want to define boring. That's interesting. Like dull, boring definition. Let's get to the bottom of this. Not interesting. I mean, obviously, no shit. Let's get like dull, tedious. I mean, whatever. Not interesting. Well, we, we that gave me nothing. But even the people that are not interesting, I still want to know how dull they look at the world. Some people's visions are just different. And I'm not talking like glasses per se prescriptions I don't know if like this makes sense to anyone it's just kind of been something on my mind I think it's so cool that two people can see the exact same thing and take away completely different things and yeah we know that but uh, we're shaped into these like deeply biased people and we don't even know it we don't know how deep it really goes and we all kind of see ourselves as more moral than we really are. We always kind of think that we're right. Haven't you noticed that? Haven't you noticed that everyone kind of thinks that they're right? Why? Do you ever think about why? Like, it's so, so interesting. Like, why do we all kind of think that we're right? Why do we all kind of have this, like, moral superiority, myself included? Like, no one's off the hook of this. And if you think that you're off the hook of this, that's a perfect example of exactly that, of you saying I'm the exception. Can it be me? Exactly. What explains that kind of like level of justice for ourselves? Where does that come from? I don't know. I don't know if I make sense ever, but I hope you forgive me. It kind of goes back to like what I was saying earlier about like good and bad. You can tell by the, this podcast, I kind of have a fixation on good and evil. It was my blog title, as I said, when I was 18. My first tattoo is angel. Second tattoo is devil. I've been tortured by that concept for a really long time. <clears throat> Am I good? Am I bad? Because I was so reprimanded as a kid. Um, and like villainized in a sense. And I never really got why. Um, but I, I sure as hell hated myself um and like hated um just being bad and feeling like I don't know and it kind of beat down my spirit a lot um because I didn't want to hate badly but I couldn't help it because I was unhappy or whatever but my obsession with good and bad is not just about that. It's an obsession with wanting to understand people and wanting to read people and wanting to know exactly what people are feeling and thinking and experiencing. There's some people out there that just look at other people as things to manipulate. That took me a while to understand as I got older. And it's true. And if you're listening to this and you're naive to that quality, like, 
don't be. You have to be skeptical. Always be skeptical. I certainly am. I can be too trusting sometimes, not to talk about myself, but um, always have a certain level of skepticism and people. But that's the thing. Like, I think about it. Like, there's some people's experiences where they're in a room and, like, they're just looking at, like, chess. That's real. Like, that's a real type of person. And not only that, some of the most successful people are like this. And, like, I'm going to have to interact with some of them. And you're going to have to interact with some of them. And worse is we're going to have to pretend like we like them. Otherwise, we lose. That's another lesson I learned. Knowledge is power. And I want to know what people want and, and are experiencing. Not to say experiencing for maybe the hundredth time. But it's true. I think it's, it's a quest to understand good and bad doesn't matter and I kind of say like the dark triad people an example like just as a fair warning I think it would be like doing a disservice if I didn't bring up the fact that there are bad people to look out for but I honestly mean just get more curious into the people that are around you that you care about And this doesn't mean, like, you have to meet them with empathy. Like, sure, yeah, that's a great tool to have. And, like, I'd obviously think that's a good idea. But I more so mean, like, just know. Try to see the world through their eyes. It's fascinating. It's like when you're at a party and you're really sad, but you're going to make sure damn well no one at this party knows that you're sad no one knows that you're about to cry no one knows anything you're in a bubble you're in the world of you you know and no one knows it it's just a secret for you and yourself but you're not the only one you know we're all in these little like secret lives secret bubbles And, like, some people are caring about, like, what everything aesthetically looks like. And some people are caring about, like, did I just say the wrong thing? Or simultaneously. Like, I don't know. Just start noticing what other people notice. And get curious about other people. I feel like I'm making demands or something. But it's more so, like, I've found so much value in it like so much value and trying to understand other people's worlds. Like I've seen mine. I've been in mine. Like I get it. Like it's fun sometimes, but I'm like so over it. I want to know other people's. And I want to know it like in full from top to bottom, like everything about it. Like, I don't know. And start to think about yours. What things do you notice and what things do you like take photos of or find interesting or notice in the street? To understand that we are all so deeply biased is to understand that communication is hard and that ultimately It's kind of the only salvation for bias, right? Sometimes you're not going to like what you see. Sometimes it's going to hurt your feelings, honestly. But I'd rather know. I'd rather know because then I can sharpen my tools on how I'm going to communicate to that person. Once you know more about someone else's world, and not just about how they think, I mean their world, the better you can, like, get through to them, persuade them, influence them, in some way, break through to them. 
That's cool. To be able to do that is cool. And there's power in that. I don't know if this podcast makes sense. I need to stop saying that. I, and I need to stop saying that. Will I? I don't know. Um, literally, I don't know if I actually can, can do that. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll tell you when I'm finished writing my book. It'll be short. But it's going to be about this. And it will explain this better, I think. And it's just going to be for fun. I don't know how to write a fucking book. Are you kidding? I'm just writing random shit and seeing what comes out. Um, kind of like this podcast. But anyways. This concludes my podcast. I will be back doing these regularly. And I think I'm going to do more solo ones. I've gone back and forth on this so, so much. But I've decided that I'm going to. And I don't have an explanation for it other than I just decided. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that is it. And...